let's write the equation of this uh, graph, which is a hyperbola. So the equation of a hyperbola, general form of a hyperbola is y is equal to a, a can be positive or negative, over x plus or minus b plus or minus c. A can be plus or minus, so let me put plus or minus. A is plus or minus, x plus or minus, b plus or minus, c. Now b, this tells you, from b gives you the vertical asymptote. v is the vertical asymptote. I'll give you the, I'll explain the maths later on, asymptote. Your b gives you the vertical asymptote and this is c gives you the horizontal asymptote. Horizontal asymptote and A can be positive or negative. Okay, so let's look at this graph and write what is that we can see. Well, the vertical asymptote is x is equal to negative 1. Your x vertical asymptote is x is equal to negative 1 and your horizontal asymptote is y is equal to 2. So once you write this, you can write the equation like this. y, so I'll write like this, y is equal to a over x, I'll write plus 1, I'll explain the maths behind this, plus 2, just like that. So if you look at the graph, your function is not defined at negative 1 or you have to think like this when would this become this when would the denominator become 0 well the denominator becomes 0 when x is negative 1 and that's what the hot vertical asymptote does it tells you where the function is not defined so the function is not defined when x is negative 1 so the denominator has to be x plus 1 and the horizontal asymptote tells you what happens to the graph as x approaches infinity. So as x approaching positive infinity, it is slightly over 2. And as x is approaching negative infinity, it's slightly less than 2. And that's where this 2 comes from. And now to figure out A, you have to just plug in one point that you can see. Well, I know this point is a very neat point. When x is 0, y is 5. So we know when x is 0, y is equal to 5. So let's put this back in this equation. So I'll put 5 in place of y is equal to a over 0 plus 1 is 1 plus 2. So this is a simple linear equation. 5 is equal to a plus 2. So a is equal to 3. Okay, so yeah. I'll write the equation and then we'll check it on the calculator. So the y, the equation is y is equal to 3 over x plus 1 plus 2. So let me, uh, I already graphed that, so let me type in again. So 3 divided by x plus 1 divided plus 2. Yeah, 3 divided by x plus 1 plus 2 and then draw the graph. So this is a graph. So let's confirm the y-intercept. So the y-intercept is, so go to GSOL and type in F4, which is 0, 5. When x is 0, y is 5. What is this point? This point is 2, comma 3. So you go GSOL, F6, F1. So when x is 2, y has to be 3, and that's right. So let's confirm this point. When x is negative 4, y is 1. So again, g sol f6, f1. Negative 4, minus 4, minus 4, 1. And when x is negative 2, y is negative 1. So g sol y calc, when x is negative 2, y is negative 1. And this is how you can confirm. So you can make up your own equation or own graph and try to write the equation yourself. So.